sales competencies for 21st century we will be talking about this topic in this presentation that is sales competencies that is the emerging competencies that is present for the present century for the 21st century is what we'll be talking around so let us proceed with the uh, agenda if you look into it i have fragmented the agendas into two different slides altogether we'll talk about the three the business of life the benefits there about it what is a fabulous approach or should i say what is a fab approach fab approach for the buyers to need satisfaction how to determine important buyer needs altogether remember this is the key to the success if you can identify the needs if you can create the need if you if you can justify the need probably your sales is assured of the sales sequence there about and the buyer's perception now in talks of perceptions we will talk about the attitudes and beliefs of the seller attitude beliefs of the buyers the buyer's personality is a vital component also which not cannot should not be negated adaptive selling based based on buyer styles you can classify buyer situation viewing buyers as a decision maker satisfy customers that is easier to sell to buy or not to buy it's a choice of destination that comes around it so let us understand the tree of business life benefits if you look at my golden rule with a gold scale that have come around it now basically what is um, uh, what is your sales what is the production this is what we are looking into it but behind it but once we start growing the grass it is all about relationships which if relationship is honest true uh, based on truth honesty and integrity it will be all about the tree that can be built upon it we will provide ethical services we will provide after sale services that is what we need to understand as to build a tree now remember this relationship is built upon truth honesty integrity in terms of ethics and sales so guided by golden rule they emphasize benefits to your communication style to able to satisfy help a person make the fantastic decision as on when on basis so why does people buy you know the black box approach we will love to discuss around here internal internalization process is referred as by box black box now what is internalization it tells me whenever you we hear a particular brand name it assures us uh, the good vibes or the bad vibes so if we have certain things with a certain brand per per se let's say mercedes if i want to say a iphone with what if i want to say what does it ring a uh, ring a bell around it uh, on probably if you are looking into certain retail outlets certain shops certain behaviors of a person you will understand this particular shopkeeper this particular retailers might be rude might not be very comfortable to talk to or approachable so there is a formation in our mind the moment we think about a person about a brand so we cannot see into the buyer's mind but there is a stimulus response uh, model and i have said it to you when we are talking about uh, let's say an iphone per per se or mercedes if this is a stimulus what will be a response we will always put it in a higher equilibrium and this is where the black box it is the unconscious mind that comes around it with the buyer behavior so this is what the stimulus is all about the sales presentation the buyer's hidden mental process that comes around it and the sale whether it happens or it does not happen so let us understand what to decipher the mental process buyers actually are looking for certain responses as far as purchasing a product it might be practical or it might be emotional it might be caressing their egos or it might be the requirement of the day some of the person's thoughts can be determined that is needs to be understood let us come with the stress uh the fab approach altogether or uh, i essentially call it fab approach for, for attracting your attention i have extended the word into a fabulous approach for wherein the buyer needs for is to be satisfied stress, stressing benefit is a very powerful selling technique and these is the fab the three techniques to understand what is the benefit that comes around it the fab selling technique will help you to understand so fab is feature of the products we need to talk about the features we need to talk about the advantages if you're using the products and the benefit there about so if we can tell about the characteristics of the product that is the features if we can tag tell the possibilities that can be done with the product we are talking about the advantages if we can tell how it can accrue uh, interest on yourself as in benefits let's say your overall image of a personality if you carry the product per se and things like that the benefit that comes around it so we will talk about the fab approach in the subsequent slide for your understanding remember features are physical characteristics right 
so many salesperson actually will tell about what are the colors of the car or what are the tires that is possessed or what are the internet enabled system that the car might be having what are the fuel injection system so there are so many physical characteristics the acs of their car the um, the year back that is present in the car number of year back so emphasis would be on features example size color shape and so on and so forth in terms of advantages fab approaches we are talking about the advantages so a uh, performance characteristics what we go around it we are talking about uh, the chances of making a sales around it we are talking about the advantages that was created by the uh, by the product let's say how the product can be used in a various kind of uh, process or various kinds of requ requirement during the various kind of issues how can it help it out can we transform the car as into an ambulance or can we transfer the car transform the car as a carriage now what are the what are the luggage space what are the leg space that we can talk about it we are telling about telling everything so examples of fast selling store storing more information copying on both side of a paper per se about a printer as the case might be and the last step of fab would be benefit it's a result of advantages right the people are interested in what product will do for them essentially how will it benefit them so benefit can be both practical and psychological benefit can be specific statement perhaps not generalization emphasize benefits on emphasizing benefits actually increases sales as simply as it is because the moment the person will realize that the product will actually accrue some some sort of interest onto them but they way are more prone to make the sale up, make the purchase so why does someone buy these items perhaps let's say a diamond ring perhaps a camera film perhaps an stp motor oil or a baseball ticket or match tickets that we are talking around it why should one purchase it because everybody has different requirement the person who is looking for diamond ring perhaps might not be interested in motor, motor stp motor oil the person who is interested in camera oil camera film might not be interested in baseball tickets and so on and so forth or they might be actually doing it let me tell you the images and the benefits thereby a diamond ring would image of success investment or to please or to win somebody's heart whereas the camera fi film would be image of memories of places friends families you basically storing memories stp motor oil would be all about your car your engine your protections your investment your peace of mind that we are looking at baseball tickets will all about the entertainment escape from reality relaxation having a fun time probably and this is the reason why people actually buy a product it is the benefit that goes around it that been taken around it remember people don't buy product they actually buy benefits not a product features not a product advantages so high performing sales person might actually stress benefit they know this will increase their chances of making the sale of helping someone in the longest of the run fab can be awkward at first new sales people can frequently not accustomed to using features advantage benefit phrases so people might not be aware of it at all or people might not be very comfortable with uh, making a very direct statement in terms of features advantage benefit so it may seem that awkward but i would believe features physical characters in buy think so what so what buyers think so what you have to inform you have to instill the physical characteristic advantages performance characteristic buyer thinks would be proving prove it you have the ability to prove with the help of statistics or for a, with the help of certain test type or experiences benefit favorable results from advantages as in as in, as in uh, the product is concerned so benefit is what people buy you remember it is the benefit of the fab thing that needs to have the benefit of benefit is what we are interested in so people might look at the product with the help of our features they might understand the product as in how it is superior to the other products available in the market but it is the benefit that pay people buy because they will understand what other product is doing for them and it is always the benefit of benefit that will be the transformational moment where the sales will actually happen so use the fab sequences the standardized fab sequences is the features means to you advantages with the real benefit to and you being such and such person note how benefit has been emphasized on the word called you pick a product insert a fab of a product into above sentence and put it in your words try it it works believe me or not it works you can have a mobile you can have a car you can have uh, probably a property if you want to purchase around you want to 
go for a, a restaurant that you want to put it around you can put all those sentences the features means to you the advantages with the real benefit that comes around it or you mean such and such fellow the salesperson needs to be a detective you remember this is what the 21st century salesperson would be looking into it we are only Again, I am only stressing upon the sales competency for the 21st century. Given that the people make a buying decision based on what they believe a product benefits will satisfy their needs, how you can uncover a buyer's need. This is what is very important. Let us understand how to determine the important buyer needs. Remember, this is the key to the uh, success. First is locate. I love this L-O-C-A-T-E locate if you can determine this requirement of the buyer you are assured of a assured of a sale completely first is to listen l stands for listen to what the buyer is saying o is to observe to what the buyer is wanting remember they might say something but they might want something c is to combine both of this thing your understanding and their perspective please understanding that then probably ask certain questions to find out certain inquisitiveness to actually why the buyer is looking for a product then talk to others and probably emphasize or empathize and i'm sure you are going to make a wonderful sale that is what locate is all about it listen observe combine ask question talk to others and empathize remember you need to match it the seller would be having something called benefit of the product where the buyer would be having the needs it is important for you to emphasize on the benefit where is it unimportant to emphasize on what needs that the buyers would be looking into it find it and you will ensure about it the trial close a great way to uncover needs and sell the trial closes asks for an opinion not a decisions to buy it gives feedback the trial close is one of the best communication technique in the sales presentation as the case might be as we are talking around it this is what we aspire to do so so the trial close phase help you determine whether the prospects likes your product features advantages benefit whether you have successfully answered any of the objection whether any of the objections remain as pertinent as ever whether the prospect is ready for you to close the sale that is what we are looking for you to help you properly use the fab selling technique the trial close then incorporate the sales sequence we will talk about the sell sequence right now s e l l let us understand how you can utilize in your presentation and this is what is a must for the 21st century sales fellow we have to show the features we have to explain the advantages and which should lead to the benefit again it is all about fab that we're talking about it sell is showing the features explaining the advantage and leading the benefit and the last one is let the customer have an upper hand let the customer talk let the customer feel less the customer experiences and i'm sure you are selling would be a wonderful features altogether would we'd be actually looking actually emphasizing and actually converting a sell sale thereby so show features is about the physical characteristics of the product explaining the advantages is all about the performance criteria that has been there leading into the benefit is the result of the advantages if it is selling uh, if it is leading to some some sort of cost advantages let the customer to talk in wherein i have said ask the customer to experience it ask the customer to probe probe with it and we are going for it let us understand now if we are talking about retail sales now can we shift to the industrial sales now how do we go around it the equipment is made up of stainless steel that's a feature which means it won't rust that is the advantage the real benefit is it reduces your replacement cost thus saving you money basically benefit this is what you are interested in right the trial close a very simple way of promoting your features advantage benefit the equipment is made up of stainless steel the features have been told which mean it won't rust is the advantage that it tells it to you another thing is it is durable so that there is no replacement cost which will be actually a benefit all about it and that is what you are interested in right the trial close is a powerful communication technique to produce remember it's a two way communication participation from the other person is of utmost importance let us understand fab with the trial close around it let's say the product is all about stainless steel it will not rust is the advantages and will never incur into or should i say will reduce uh, your replacement cost or frequent 
maintenance will not be required and that is what the benefit is all about so does it sound good to you and your trial trial of sales pitch has been closed altogether with a simple technique of making a sale that comes around it the buyer perceptions is how it selects how it organize interprets information where the selective exposure is only a portion of the information used selective distortion in the perceptual process may alter information selective retentions may remember only what suppose the attitude and the belief we are talking about the perception attitude beliefs perceptions are learned more often than not learning knowledge based on the past attitude learning predisposition belief is the trust or the confidence placed in something or someone as the case might be so let us understand with the buyer perception uh, personality what is it that is required personality can be viewed as an individual which is distinguished character straight attitude habit we'll talk about the real self in terms of the real self in terms of self image the ideal self and looking glass self this is what the real, uh, the self concept is all about it you are what you are which is actually you the real self but what you want to have is the ideal self that comes around it but what you portray as a self image what does other people consider you would be your self image and then there is something called a looking glass can you reflect can you actually see the real out there adapted selling based on buyer style let us start, uh, talk about the tips thereby the personality typing in terms of buyers now we're talking about in terms of the consumer the end customer so adapt your presentation style on the basis of the buyer style there might be people who are thinker oriented who are cognitively very strong so appeal to the cognitive side who are intuitively style probably they have heard about it they believe that the product has been launched new and they think that this is a new revolutionary product this is all about intuition that they come around it there is the people there who are a feeler styles who would be be thinking from their heart and not from their mind so appeal to the heart and the sensor style who will actually sense the product before actually making it a sale or purchasing a sale you can classify such situation you know certain decisions are routine oriented you don't require much of a um, uh, mind boggling issues around it it's a routine thing people have been accustomed to usage using that product probably you don't make a pitch for it it's a routine sale but then the certain decisions limited despite being routine you know it been limited why because the amount of money involved is huge so it is once in every two years once in every three years four years or five years so they are accustomed to the product they know the product they are very well much very much aware of the product but what they are looking into it has been limited because of a certain parameters let's say time being one factor cost being one factor the laws of the land being one factor and so on and so forth and some decision are extensive because it might be a life altering decision let's say somebody is purchasing a property all together right so you are thinking in terms of using at least for a decade or two into that property so how do you plan those things how do you make those decision the decision are extensive it required a well articulated cultivated probably presentation for the buyer get an impression for for your understanding we'll we'll talk about the low involvement in terms of routine decisions and high involvement in terms of an extensive decision and in limited decisions we don't have much of a um, uh, requirement probably we are aware of it and probably we need to understand what um, uh, what is the right thing what is the right uh, decision time to go and act upon it you go ahead with it so technology provides information for customer decision making of late internet has been a widespread uh, medium for people to access information get a feedback first hand in fact from uh, unknown faces altogether five basic steps in decision making need arousals definitely yes collection of information information evaluation purchase decision as a case might be and post purchase satisfaction and dissonances as a case around here we are talking about the need arousals out, out there remember what is need arousal the, there is a requirement that a customer may be feeling or even may not be feeling in case the customer is not feeling about the requirement create one so collection of the information Uh, bombard the customer with those information information evaluation ensure that he or she is actually been toying up with the information before they will actually come with the decision make decisions of making a purchase and after the purchase it is all about dissonances of dissonances of satisfaction either you happy with the purchase or not so 
personal psychological and social forces that influences uh, consumer buying decisions you know with personal influences it is all about your age gender situation and income with psychological it is your past experiences past your personality your attitude your belief and probably your perception whereas the social influences is all about culture social classes friends families as the case might be so we have personal influences psychological influences and social influences consumer buying decision process is need arousal collection of information information evaluation purchase decision and post purchase behavior that comes around so we need to understand a lot of things that comes around it satisfied customers are easier to sell yes once a customer has experienced your product and they are happy with it it doesn't require uh, much of a push forget even shoving it is easier to sell a customer that is than a stranger probably building relationship is vital absolutely vital for a salesperson job remember to buy or not to buy is a choice decision for a salesperson to understand if they can understand this they are absolutely at the epitome of their career factors that can influence the buying decision i have spoken about the buyer buyers personality the sellers process altogether buyers actually examine various factors that influences their decision buyers actually go through a various steps in making decision and before actually making the purchase the big ticket purchase that we are looking for it and this will make the career of a sales fellow absolutely stupendously successful remember these are the point that needs to be covered in sales competencies and these are essential competencies for our present century with this i wind up this presentation thank you for watching this video